Oh my goodness, so the weirdness continues. <laughs> um, I don't usually record from the position of lying down, but the last couple of days has been very much a, a stop and be slow. Um, I went yesterday um, to have a, a some dental work, a tooth work done, um, some, some fairly painful work. <laughs> um, however, I'm so grateful that it's finally being done, um, but pain. Pain is something that can trigger me to some pretty dark places. Um, I know everybody in the world has experienced physical pain of some kind or other, um, and it's not making a comparison of what other people's pain or is or is not. I just know that for me, um, I've had exquisite amounts of, amounts of pain in my life from varying source, and I can definitely say that dental pain for me has been some of the most intense um, that really makes me just want to slam my head against a wall just to relieve the pain, you know? Um, so yesterday I went into it um, knowing, you know, what the procedure was. And there's just a lot of work that has to be done, Kate. That's just the way it is. Like, okay. And, you know, getting over the butt hurt of how and why it all came to be that way is irrelevant. Like, I'm not a victim anywhere, then I'm not a victim anywhere. And when I start feeling like I'm a victim... <laughs> That can really dogpile into the pain thing and just make that spiral really uncomfortable. Um, and just recognizing it alone doesn't just, you know, instantly make it vanish. It really doesn't. Um, uh, it would be ridiculous for me to suggest that, well, just recognizing that that's the pattern and boop, it's gone. Um, but it did come across, um, um, I don't remember who the, the guru is, um, uh, I think maybe perhaps it was uh, Sadhguru or perhaps it was Eckhart Tolle. I don't remember. Wildly different people, but I don't remember which one it was. But they mentioned um, they mentioned pain and, you know, digging deep into it. Uh, and I didn't actually. It was just a headline I read of a video. Um, so I'm really not con in just contextually bringing in how I came to some thought in my mind. I, I'm not quoting either of those people or anyone else. Um, these are just Kate's thoughts, you know, <laughs> dealing with dental pain yesterday that had me lying in bed, you know, afterwards that, yep, you're in the position of recline immediately. Um, and without needing to take any pain medication. So I was very glad about that, that, okay, cool. You know, it wasn't that bad, then I'm okay. Tylenol will cover it, but it doesn't require a prescription, so I'm good. Um, but I was lying there just starting to feel a little bit sorry for myself and thinking, you know, haven't I had enough? You know, isn't, this isn't fair, you know. Um, there's so many things in my life that I've been through. I've had been through so many traumatic situations and so many surgeries and so many painful experiences. I mean, I was going through the whole list and giving my team the what for of, have you not been here this whole time? Have you not seen? What do you expect me to do? I only have a human avatar. You know, what's wrong with you? And um, after I got done with my hissy fit, I mean, I have to feel sorry for myself sometimes. That's just what I allow myself to do because otherwise if I deny it and pretend like that's not what that is or that I don't need a forum to say, this shit sucks. You know, I'm, I'm right up here. Oh, wait, I'm up here with it. That It went well over my head with tolerance of, you know, how much do you expect me to take? And then, you know, having some cheesy little meme pop up that says, you know, God only gives you how much you can handle. I think, you know, um, I'm sorry, but not today, not today. I just, I don't want to hear it. And, you know, so I'd kind of reached that boiling point. And fortunately for the most part, those boiling points aren't quite as, as, um, you know, explosive and bubbly and, you know, as they used to be, but it did take me to that point. And then I was kind of scrolling along, you know, and I saw that title. And the reason I didn't go into watching that video at all, um, whoever it was, <laughs> about deep in, getting deep into the pain to understand it um, or to find its usefulness, I think might have been the title. I didn't want to have any predisposition of what the message might be for me. So I went inside and just thought, okay, I'm going to jump into this stuff and dig deep and see what I can do here. And really, you know, um, when I get disconnected from my God source, my spirit, my team, um, my soul's calling, you know, <laughs> home, home frequency, home planet, um, higher consciousness, um, energy source, all the things that we call this, um, contextually, you know, calling it God probably would be the best thing right at this moment just to keep things simple. But when I get a, a separated from that God experience, it's because I've separated from it. It's not because, you know, God left me um, and forsaken, forsook. <laughs> and it's not that God has forsaken me. It is not even that I've forsaken God that has such an overtone of 
that I just don't like. It means that that's just an area where it's easy for me to be blinded by real human stuff because we all have an avatar. As far as I know, there are no real Agent Smiths running around <laughs> or people with no soul minimal some of them but um we all have this human body it all has neurons and and um neurology not neurons uh nerves <laughs> nerve endings that we it all they all have neurons too <laughs> nerve endings um that we experience pain and pain is one of the easiest ways to get people out of pocket um even if, you know emotional pain even uh, physical pain it's it doesn't matter they're both experiences of pain and discomfort that are levels that will make people make some very terrible decisions you know um if i was prone to want to take you know 12 pills 12 um pain pills, you know, just to make this stop, that could absolutely stop my life. And that may not have been my intention to do so. I just want the pain to stop. So I found as I was digging into that, you know, and really going, okay, my tooth hurts, my tooth hurts, my ear hurts, my all hurts, you know, and getting off of that, I mean, really get through the, the temper tantrum of why the hell is this happening? This isn't fair. Um, you know, do you need an answer on that? Or would you like to, to get to let's start to solve the problem here? You know, we can, we can investigate the lead up to the the arson perhaps that started this fire but you maybe want to evacuate the building before you burned it up right um <laughs> okay um that we can finger the perp later kate right now this is really hurting you and you're really starting to spin off and get further away from god's source because you're spinning off with what is a legitimate concern and a legitimate pain you know you're not making this up it really is hurting you um and excuse me so i started digging you know really into that okay 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 it's you know it's hurting in my thing it's hurting here it's hurting in my ears that part hurts okay we've named all that we've named all that exactly where all the pain is and what it is what it looks like what it feels like all of that okay what's the next step that how can i cope with and find a place of respite from it without doing something that is harmful to me, harmful to somebody else, or lashing out in one way or another, or punishing in my mind any longer my own body for having dental needs that are beyond what I expected at this age, you know, that, oh, that's a little more involved than I thought it would be. Mm. Um, and that shouldn't, ha yeah, we don't do that anymore. We don't go into the retribution part. That part's over. We only go into the solution, not the retribution, because um, the retribution is in direct contra contradiction to the solution. And so if we're going to get stuck somewhere, get stuck there long enough to go, oh, yeah, yeah, we don't do that anymore. And then come over here to the solution part. What is the solution part is in order to, excuse me, have long term success with your whole head not wanting to fall off all the time with dental pain, causing headaches, earaches, jaw pain, etc. Then these are the steps that we have to make. You know, um, if you're an athlete and you want to train, you know, and lift weights, you, you have to break down some muscle <laughs> to get the muscle to build and it's painful and just step it up into whatever graduated degree of, um, you know, pain it is. Sorry, my thumb itches. <laughs> wonder if I'm getting money. That's the, the, the word on the street. Uh, anyway, um, and it's, it's a little less, you know, inviting to think of the, you know, people that are building muscle are building muscle and they're going to look good when it's over. And, and this is just, just dental pain. Well, it's still building the health of your mouth back and your teeth and your jaw and you know your whole face at this point. It's still rehabbing that and bringing that back to a place of better health and better alignment all right so it's going to have to go through those necessary steps and when i think about it that way it distracts me from the pain and it also gives me the logical steps. I'm a logical person and, I, you know, I don't know how other people like to be told. I don't want to be told some Buffalo bullshit story about things. Just give it to me straight. And, you know, I can run with the logic of it. Doesn't mean that I like it. Doesn't mean that it feels great or that, you know, I just instantly go, cool. Now I understand why this hurts like a mofo. Cool. Um, it does, however, for me, mean that I can... Uh, kind of really just balance my own mind with the fact that, okay, there is a logical progression. And when there's a logical progression, it gives me a reason that it's hurting that I can settle with and make peace with that, okay, this is, you know, it will not always feel this way. <laughs> 
It will not always feel this way because it's improved with every step that we've made. I mean, these are major dental um, procedures that are happening over probably the next year. Um, you know, and so, okay, then each step we've made has gotten better. If every step I was making wasn't making it better, I need to go back into the lab to, you know, my own internal quantum lab and say, oh, excuse me, what did I not hear from Spirit correctly <laughs> about we wanted to get better about this and it's not. So it means if it's not getting better, I would have stopped, you know, steps ago, you know, many de dental procedures ago and not moved forward. Um, but because I've been getting my guidance and found the perfect dentist, you know, finally, after about five of them, like, no, I really need to know what you're doing and deal with my quirky, you know, kind of weird nervous system that, you know, will twitch weird and I'll go home and, you know, be laid out for a week if we really go there. So please don't and know what you're doing. I mean, that's a lot to ask for. <laughs> At least it was for me. It took me about five of them before I found this brilliant team of people that really take good care of me. But um, anyway, if, it, if I wasn't there, you know, experiencing that and getting better and better and better results, you know, sometimes that pain from last procedure was way more intense. It was a lot more work. And it hurt worse than anything I'd had up to that point. But it was also taking care of like three different things all at one time because, you know, he felt confident in doing that. And he said, are you willing to go there? And then the logic sets in of, well, he did tell you, honestly, this is going to hurt. This is going to be painful. Um, we can, you know, uh, de uh, decrease the amount of pain during the procedure, of course. Uh, when you get home, that's going to be a different story. Um, so if you agree to that and you were fully informed... <laughs> and, and can't later say, well, I didn't know that was going to be when we're lied to and we're given a whole story and, you know, um, not told the truth. And we can have some some justification. It's still the process. Got to get out of the burning building, though. You know, we can talk finger the perp later, you know, accidental uh, fire or arson, different um, punishment phase on that from the universe about how that happened that we do people. However, it's still the person's job, you know, my job to work out the how this shit really hurts. And so if I've been informed, which I was, that and I can go home and know that, yeah, he said that was going to be pretty icky. And, um, you know, I needed the pain meds. I needed the prescription pain meds for a couple of days for that. However, I didn't need them long um, because the, the more I get a hold of that, feel less victimized, it has caused it to be an experience where I'm able to heal much faster and I'm staying in better alignment with that healing frequency um, more often than if I'm just spinning around in the pain. You know, I'm standing in the burning building just you know melting then you know my chances of survival decrease the more that I deny that a fire is happening or that wow it's really hot in here there's smoke there's you know like uh -huh. and so if I just can move myself out and this is not you know I'm not suggesting that this has been an easy process for me and so if it hasn't been easy for me there must be at least one or two people out there for whom it's also not easy you know there's a lot of people that are suffering in, in physical pain and emotional pain but it did you know as I was lying there just uh, yesterday specifically yesterday Yesterday that I was looking at that and thinking, okay, so if we have a logical approach to this pain, it does help ease and I don't feel punished, then it gets me closer. If I get, get out of that victim mentality, that's one of the quickest ways to get closer to divinity and the healing frequency is to get out of that victim mentality. And it's not necessarily that we have to get out of victim mentality in one big giant quantum leap. We can, you know, that can happen that we have whoa, the awakening and we're just right there and we're no longer in that victim state. Um, it wasn't that way for me. I had to jump out of each little successive hole, you know, and get to the next, um, the next stair of, or the next level of where I was going to be less victimized. And in pain, it can just be a real easy trigger for me to go there because it can bring up a lot of trauma from the past that I wouldn't generally be in that position to think of. It's the pain that triggers me there. Um, not anymore does it just on daily or on the regular trigger to those memories or those thoughts or those traumatic experiences. However, I found myself remembering things yesterday that I went, you know, and feeling angry about, and that's not fair. And I mean, going right down the rabbit hole with, okay, well, if the rabbit, we're going to follow the white rabbit on that one, we're going down that rabbit hole, because that's not one of those, you know, weird matrix rabbit holes there, Kate, this is a, we need to go here, 
You don't jump down every rabbit hole that's made available because, you know, that's some bullshit that'll keep you busy with it all over for a long time. We already did that one, but this one, follow that one. <laughs> follow that one right there and then swallow the right pill when you get there. The, okay, this is your experience. You live on earth. You have an avatar. You have a body. And it comes with, you know, the ability with nerve endings to sense things. Would you rather be a non-sensate human being? As if I didn't feel pain, that means I also wouldn't feel soft and wonderful, safe touch. Okay, just because I felt not safe, not so wonderful touch, doesn't mean that it's not available over here. And if I was willing to cut out that, you know, not so safe, means I'm willing to cut out that too. If I'm not willing to feel pain, I'm not willing to feel uh, reassurance and warmth and, you know, things that just really feel good. A lot of people really kind of, at least me anyway, I've gotten stuck on that, that, well, I'm not feeling that. Well, but if you shut that out, or even the willingness to feel it, then you're not even inviting that other in. And I am in no way suggesting that pain brings us to that um, if we you know, do things intentionally harmful to ourselves or our others in a physical way um, or an emotional way that you know, we can then bring in that, that. That's not the logic on that. I'm just saying that if it's been there and we've installed some ideas of you know, this really is mm, and it's somebody else's fault and there are people who are accountable for causing me physical pain they are um but just because i want to lock that out and say you know that's not fair and you know this isn't fair and um blah 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 okay we'll lock out the pain and lock out the the other end of the spectrum as well because you're no longer open to all the healing frequencies of pain is an indication emotional or physical pain is an indication there's a blockage somewhere in the energy that's causing the pain to begin with. So where is it? What is it? And it gave me an opportunity to dive down that hole yesterday. And boy, was I pissed about it. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. I was kind of like, are you kidding? Are we still on this? You know, is your mouth still in pain? Are you still in pain anywhere in your body? Yes. <laughs> okay, then yeah, we're gonna, are you, you want to go down the hole? Or you want to keep spinning around in the burning building? You know, you want to evacuate? And fine, the rabbit hole might be the evacuation of the building, you think? Like, oh, okay, well, as long as it's that and I'm not just, you know, going evacuating to another building that's in worse shape, okay? Um, and, you know, it keeps keep in mind this is a very close connection with spirit and, you know, prayer, however it is that you identify with that. But it's keeping a very close connection with that and not letting my monkey mind or my logic get too in charge because logic and monkey mind can start looking like they're the same thing. And then the monkey mind will go, well, then if they did this, and really the what ifs start. And, uh, you know, this is more of a um, an MCI drill of, you know, a multi-casualty incident drill where we're triaging. And that's where my logic goes is, is it logical to progress in that direction of what if? No. What is happening right now is that I'm in pain and I'm being given some guidance from spirit to let's dig into this. Let's look at this closely and go logical there. Skip the what ifs and the monkey mind, which really isn't very enlightened. That's just old programming garbage of stuff that used to be true and the universe is bringing um, planet earth a brand new understanding of itself and so we have to you know really look at reprogramming and letting go of old ideas and old baggage and blah, 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 and skip the part where i think well i already have i thought i had our yeah okay well it doesn't matter if you thought you did or not <laughs> if you thought you did you did however it doesn't mean that there can't be something that would jump up later that's the idea of me thinking that you know i've had some quantum leap in my understanding well that's cool you're gonna have some more does that mean that you're bad because you didn't and if you say that why what would be the reason what would be the point in saying well that's bad that i haven't gotten that far why what what would be bad about it, it what would be unhelpful or bad about it is not recognizing that oh i've i've made some new understanding then let's go in that direction and skip that shit because that's just very hurtful and it's a shaming session that you really don't want to do do you want to do that some more or are we done with that well i thought it was oh well we're back to the same loop did you want to get out of that and just go ahead and step up out of that hole you know, the, the the up portions over there, you can go there if you want to, but I thought we already did that one. See, that's the logic. It doesn't have anything to do with the, well, what if I jump down there and that's not logical because you can't answer that question until you do, you know? Um, and I'm one that this, this kind of cheeses me still sometimes. 
don't tell my spirit guys um or god that um i want to know the answer what if the reason i used to ask what if all the time and anxiety pushed me there a lot of people get pushed with you know well, what if this what if that because we want to know how's it going to be safe down there what's the safest point i can take and what if this happens we're what ifing because we're suggesting all of the panicky scary ass situations that could happen and they could they're quite quite legitimate a thousand scary things can happen you know at any time an infinite number of them what the real question for me to answer and then use my logic to get there is how can i deal with whatever happens not what happens you know if i don't know le legitimately do not know what's going to happen I mean, sometimes I can see and spirit doesn't always allow me to predict into the future or know or have insight or prophecy to it. I'm not going to be given stuff that you, you don't need to know. If you don't know it, you don't need to know it. If I ask, if I get a little twitchy and weird and go, well, what's going to happen about that? Like, oh, we're into a paradigm you don't do anymore. This is about trust, Kate. I don't want to trust or want you to give me the answer. Okay, then let's sit down for a minute and talk about your faith. What do you believe in? And that's where I go with it because the, the what if thing is really rooted for me. I'm going to suggest for others as well, but I definitely can say for me is that I want to know how I'm going to be safe in that. I want to know how I'm going to reach safety, how I'm going to keep safe, how I'm going to, you know, that I don't have to experience that. And really it's about how do I reach safety right now? And in any other moment that comes, no matter what happens, even if it's creepy, even if it's weird, even if it's down that rabbit hole of what, you know, I'm experiencing thoughts of stuff that I thought that, okay, we're, we're down the rabbit hole going in the wrong direction of the rabbit hole. You know, if you're bother bothering to go down the rabbit hole, go down there very consciously and choose the stuff you want to know and believe and take up out of there when you hop up out of that rabbit hole and go on your quantum leap. Okay, and that can be a lot of, you know, um, mind, uh, I don't know if I'd say mind games, kind of mind jumble. It can. And so um, I really have to, you know, work with myself wherever I am. You know, I just, I can't move myself in a direction that I'm really not feeling it or digging it. It's truly a matter of, are you open to at least trying and I was so glad I did that oh I thought this was over you know that okay get over the butt hurt and just go there because it is here it's not going to leave you've been demonstrate got demonstrated proof through 54 years that that shit does not just go away it doesn't matter how much you want to blind yourself put your rose colored glasses on and you know la, 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 pretend like it's not there it doesn't ever go away has it ever done that before not without taking pills and you know smoking weed and doing a lot of stuff that you know sometimes that was very valid and helpful and sometimes it really wasn't you know it was just an escape routine that you know when it's a controlled escape make it a controlled escape and when it's just a i can't hang with it and eh, let's grow some muscles on how we can hang with it so that when we need to use something like that if and when then it's a conscious and controlled evolution and controlled by spirit not by me and so when i'm asked you know dig deep go in there go in there <laughs> uh, okay and digging into the physical pain what's it triggering to and why most of the time it's irrelevant honestly most of the time at this point it's irrelevant because it's been identified it would just be perseverating and rotating and ruminating on stuff that that's just not healing that's going back and experiencing that healing or hurting over and over again and not really healing because it's it's in a bad cycle in a bad loop whereas going back to look at it in a, in a hmm, excuse me going back to observant in a more um third party kind of way like i'm just the 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 observer the casual observer it's me watching you know my interaction which is kind of a weird split state to be in <laughs> however it's a good one you know to be in whenever i might be subject to falling into the hole even further and taking that rabbit hole on a left uh, um, angle instead of you know where i really need to be going and it's really about listening to spirit what's my track here and where am i going and staying very much there and then when those panicky moments of having to deal with, you know, there's obviously still some pain parts of me. 
if it's got to be brought up by spirit or if it's triggered by something that means that it could be triggered at any point by any pain it's just that it's associating itself here but it's somewhere in my body somewhere in my psyche somewhere in my spirit somewhere in my soul somewhere in somewhere that whether i can identify the location of that or not is irrelevant it's from somewhere and it's coming up then deal with it now, I can't deal with all of it at one time if I get too overwhelmed. I mean, that's the reality of it and why I allow myself to, you know, lie down. I'm not typically a very sedentary person anymore. I'm typically up and hiking and doing other things and very busy. And when I slow, like slam down to just, then I know you can't do all of that and this. That's not practical. That's where logic takes me to. Please don't ask your body and your mind and everything else because your body and your mind are, and, and your spirit, your soul, your etheric body, all of it's all together. So please don't ask one part of that to not be affecting the other. That's, you know, being split off the way you used to be in, in, when you weighed 300 pounds. You know, can you see the logic of that? So I don't know if any of that's made sense. I sure hope it has. And no matter what, I'm taking the time to really care for my physical body because it's just logical. Even if I wasn't a spiritual person that was digging deep into some very weird dimensional stuff, um, even if I wasn't, it's just prudent to do what's necessary to when the body's in pain, please don't ask it to just, you know, go hike three or 4,000 miles um, to, to distract from the pain, distract in a very conscious way. If that was what I was guided to do, I'd be out hiking today, but it's not what I was guided to do. Make very conscious actions, mindful actions that are very, you know, intended with with uh, prayer and spirit support, spirit support, God's support, not just me making shit up that sounds good and justifies what I really want to be doing. Because believe me, I much, would much rather, it's 50 degrees today in the middle of Colorado Springs, and it's January. It's been cold, way cold. So my mind and my body want to be, well, probably not my body, my mind wants to be going and say, I want to hike. And I woke up today and thought, oh, you know, what is this? I just don't feel inspired to do it. And I was starting to get into a little bit of a, you know, shame session with myself about what's wrong with you? What's, you know, what? What did you just say to yourself? What did you just say to me? Somewhere inside me said, excuse me, but what the hell? did that lady just say to me you know excuse her from the room because that's just old programming that's not me hating on myself that's me just telling that system that or excuse me that um programming oh you're irrelevant did you not catch the last update you're no longer relevant goodbye there's the new update is release that and let it go and every single one of those you know every single one of those that comes up release it and let it go if i have to say that a thousand times i must have probably said that a thousand times yesterday alone that no i'm not succumbing to this this is just programming from something else that told me that i should be doing something and um, should and shame um start with the same sh that shit does so you know i'm gonna put that all in the same category that mm -mm, if i'm feeling that needs to go but then you know that really has to be worked up you know to figure out why and how and all of that that's where we go down the rabbit hole kate <laughs> you're doing great with the release and let go it's not quite that simple for me it hasn't that i could just say release and let go release and let go there's a certain amount of work that has to be done to understand how to release and let go of it completely and not have stragglers and when stragglers um come up and they're not you know tiny stragglers they're noticeable ones better get down on in, in that hole and make it happen and you know start talking to that stuff and then excuse it at a, at a higher level because it's a more intense bothersome it's no longer just the nagging mind um monkey mind stuff that's a that's a legit thing that that's not going to take a little bb gun that's going to take something a little more mm, you know <laughs> noticeable um i don't know some marvel comics actions or some action or something so get in there and deal with it you know the monkey mind of nah, 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 that can take a toot, you know just get along here and move it along however when it starts going into something more you know um tragic or more involved then get in there with more involved um process of how to release it and alchemize it energetically 
And these are all metaphors. I'm not talking about having, you know, um, gunfights in my head with shooting things. It's a matter of the alchemy and the energetic work it takes to do that. And that's a very private process about how that happens. And I would never suggest to anyone how they should do it. Um, their, their healing is an independent process that, you know, mine can sound really strange to other people and it's okay. Uh, the truth is, though, is that energetic work has to happen at whatever level we understand it and we can accept that healing um, frequency to be able to manage it and use it within our own body, our mind, and our soul. So with that 2929, uh, I don't know what that means, 9, 10, 11, 11. I'm going to take it as that. Thank you. <laughs> twin flame as in twin of me, that my mas masculine and my feminine, may they be uniting always. That brings me the balance that is the God frequency and loving frequency, pure balance of my expression as a human being of male and female, no matter what my gender is, that I can bring that together in unification to open myself for healing frequency and get out of this pain because that shit hurts. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you again next time. Bye friends.